Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> How are you all today? Glad you're here on this chilly Wednesday. Wednesday. What day is it? Monday evening. I am just going to do a few audio and video checks before we get started, my friends. We will see what we will see. Just to make sure you can all see me and hear me. One moment, one moment. Okay, looks like we're live. Hey, good evening. So glad that you could join me. Uh, my name is Darlene Winans, and I serve on the Board of Directors of International Women's Ministries. And I'm so glad, I'm so pleased that you are here with me, ready for live prayer, whether you're watching uh, right now, instantly, or on the replay, and or repray. Um, either way, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining me this evening. Um, let's get to what's happening around uh, IWM these days. Welcome and Happy New Year to you. Uh, here we are. It's a new year, a new life, a new beginning, new blessings. Um, someone just popped up. Say hello. Good to see you on here. Um, it is 2024, can you believe it? 2024. And uh, you know from, if you've been watching us for very long or following us on Facebook, um, if you are part of our newsletter, hello, praise the Lord, good evening, good to see you on here, Anand. Um, if you know anything about IWM, you know that our mission is to wipe the tears of our sisters around the world. How do we do that? Well, we go on trips. We invest in women around the world. We wipe their tears, um, both uh, globally and here in the States. Um, here are our plans for 2024. We're planning on trips to Kenya to Nicaragua, to Indonesia. We're planning for um, two stateside trips here in the U.S. in 2024. Lots going on with IWM, and I'm so thankful that you're joining me tonight. Thank you for joining us in praying for these trips where we invest in women. We see and meet women who are on hard mission fields. They're in difficult places of ministry, uh, we sow into their ministry. We invest in their ministry. We wipe the tears of our sisters around the world. We meet women who are um, under the leadership of these ministries or these missionaries. And um, we pray with them. We educate. We equip. We train. We invest. And so um, it is our uh, good pleasure to follow God's calling in this way. And so we're so thankful for your prayers, for your support. Thank you for um, sending the support financially to allow us to do these things. Um, your support can continue at internationalwomensministries.com. If you want to um, go to that website and click donate, um, you can donate to um, one of many different um ministries and areas of need for IWM. So thankful for you here tonight. Thanks for joining me. Tonight's devotional is called The Beginning and the End. And uh, I want to start with um, John 1, chapter 1, and verse 1. And it's a familiar verse, I'm sure, to many of you. Um, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. And in him was life, and that life was the light 
of all mankind. And of course, if you're familiar with this verse, you know that the word that was with God and the personage that they're talking about that was with God in the beginning is the person of Jesus. And God's son, um, Jesus, was with God in the beginning, and he was the light of all mankind. Amen. And we're so thankful for that light. We're so thankful for his um, gift to the world in um, how God sacrificed his son Jesus for our sins, to take away the sins of the world, to give us freedom, to give us grace, to give us mercy and all those great gifts from above. Thank you, Lord. So um, in addition to John 1, 1, which talks about, it starts with in the beginning, I also want to share a verse in Revelation. Revelation 22, 13, and it says, I, and this I here is Jesus speaking, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. So that's why I had this title on here tonight, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord Jesus Christ, the beginning and the end. And he was with God in the beginning, and he is with God, of course, and will be with God in the end. So uh, in the book of John, we saw he was with God in the beginning, and in Revelation, we see that he is with God in the end. Um, it says in Revelation that um, the end of days as we know it, that Jesus is coming again, known as his second coming, and then at the end, there will be the white throne judgment. There will be the Bema seat or the mercy seat and the marriage supper of the lamb. And uh, we will live with him in eternity. Amen. What a great promise in God's scripture, in um, his holy word. And the question is, knowing that things have a beginning and an end, um, I'm going to do a little uh, beginning and end game with you. Um, we know things have a beginning and an end, right? We know if you start with an egg, you end with an omelet or whatever you make out of the eggs. Uh, you start with a movie and you end with the credits. You start with a seed and you end with a flower. And so everything... Um, even life itself, there's life in the beginning and then there's death at the end. And everything has a beginning and an end. And here is Jesus in Revelation saying he is the beginning and he is the end, the Alpha and Omega. So the question is, if we're thinking about um, the ending, how this story ends, are we ready for his coming? Are we ready for the second coming of Christ? Are we uh, keeping alert and watching? Are we seeing that um, there are signs all about us, all around us that are pointing to that time? In 2024, will this be the year? Will this be the time when the Lord Jesus comes for his church? And are we ready? We remember the story about the the um, ten the ten wise virg virgins and the ten foolish ones, and we want to be the wise ones who are ready with oil in our lamps. Amen. Yes, and amen. We look all around us. We see all of, all of the news about the war in Israel. There's war in the Ukraine. There's um, Wars and rumors of wars. There's earthquakes and floods in diverse places, as um, is talked about, I believe, in the book of Matthew. Um, there were, a few days ago, there was an earthquake in California. A few years ago, there was Typhoon Odette in the Philippines, and IWM was able to respond with help and with aid uh, after um, that great typhoon that hit the Philippines. Um, 
There's even flooding predicted tomorrow in Virginia where we are. In our area, we're expecting um, two or three inches of rain, and they're, they're saying that there could be flooding, there could be power outages. Um, but thank, thank the Lord that he goes with us. Thank God that we are safe. And, um, but we, we see all these things happening around us, earthquakes, floods, wars, all kinds of things. And, um, we wonder, we watch and we pray and we wonder, is this the time Lord that you'll be returning? And I want to be ready. I want us to get ready. So how can we do that in 2024? What can we be um, looking for? Well, we can watch and we can pray. Matthew 26, 41 says, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. For the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And I think sometimes um, we can fall into a, a lull. We can fall into a false sense of security. We can fall into um, letting our guard down. And I think all of those things can lead to um, temptation or can lead to um, sinning against God, can lead to not being prepared or being caught off guard. And so we need to be careful. We need to watch and we need to pray. Um, the end of Revelation says, Even so, come Lord Jesus. We see all these things happening all around us, but even so, come Lord Jesus, watch and pray. Watch for all the signs that were the signs of the end of the age that were written about at the end of the book of Matthew and watch and pray as these things are happening and look up for your redemption draws nigh. We can also be mindful. We can be intentional. We can show kindness. We can look for ways to apply the gifts of the Spirit that have been manifest in us. Love and peace and joy. Kindness and gentleness and self-control. And patience. That's a good one, right? Using these gifts that the Holy Spirit has given us. Um, we don't want to hide the gifts. We want to um, share them freely with others. And by sharing them with others, be um, sharing the gospel of Christ. And so we want to be in 2024 mindful and we want to be intentional about um, sharing our gifts, our God-given gifts, our God-given talents, the fruit of the spirit that is, that is in us, all of those things um, we want to do. We want to be mindful. We want to be intentional. We want to share the good news of Jesus with others. He's coming. He's coming back for us, church. He's coming back for us, new believer. Let's get our friends, our family, our loved ones, people that we meet, things that seem like chance encounters that are God-ordained opportunities. Let's bring them into the, into the kingdom. Right? We want people um, to share in the benefits of living in, in eternity with our God. We want to invest in ministries, invest in missionaries around the world who are spreading the gospel, invest in IWM, invest in partnering with us, invest your time, your resources, your prayer, your support. All of those things as we watch and we pray in 2024. So that's what I want to do tonight as we um, close out this little uh, devotional time. I want us to um, spend a little bit of time in prayer and in thankfulness and thanksgiving, but also in um, just allowing the Lord to minister to us and to Show us those places where we can be more mindful, where we can be more intentional in using the gifts that he's given us and in bringing people into the knowledge of the saving grace of Christ and uh, praying that even now, come Lord Jesus, all of those things. 
So let's pray together. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for all the things that you are doing in us and through us and for the opportunity to serve in IWM. Thank you for the direction that you are leading us in. Thank you for the opportunities in the year to come to serve alongside missionaries, even though it's for a temporary time, a short time, but to invest in missionaries who are serving in difficult mission fields. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to go. Thank you for the opportunity to wipe their tears, to invest in their ministries, to minister to the women that they serve, to see people set free, to see people come to salvation. Lord, that's what we watch and pray for in 2024. Lord, for people near and far, for people um, in our own lives, for our children, for our families, for our friends, for our loved ones. Lord, that we would see this year in 2024, we would see them come to salvation. That they would come to you for the first time or come back to you as the prodigal son did. Lord, with your arms wide open, ready to receive them, ready to forgive them, ready to love them and embrace them and welcome them into your kingdom. Lord, thank you for these opportunities. Thank you for the gifts that you've given us, each one of us individually, for you are a personal God. For the gifts of the Spirit, for the God-given gifts and talents you've given us, one is a teacher, one is a minister, one is uh, has a prophetic gift, one may have a gift of writing, one may get, have a gift of speaking, one may have a gift of music and the ability to lead in worship. There's so many gifts, Lord, that you have given each and every one of us individually to share for the good of your kingdom for the good of sharing the gospel the gift of hospitality the gift of giving the gift of making a difference the gift of selflessness to put others needs above our own lord people and people are seeing what we're doing Lord, help us to be mindful and intentional in serving you. Help us to watch. Help us to be mindful. Lord, I believe in 2024 that we will see great things that will come by your mighty hand that will happen only because of your hand, Lord, only because of your involvement with your people. We're so very thankful, Lord, for the opportunity to, to watch and see. And we don't want to sit back and watch and see. We want to be a part of it. We want to be involved. We want to be a blessing to others. Help us to do that, Lord. Hmm. Help us to share the good news of Jesus with others. Help us, Lord, to find new ways to invest in ministries around the world. To be mindful, to be prayerful, to be supportive. Lord, I I want our friends that are that are watching to, of course. Pray and support IWM, but help us to see with spiritual eyes those who are in need, those around us who may not say a thing. So if they don't tell us, Lord, then we need to be watchful and mindful and alert and see what others don't see, see the beauty 
all around us, see the beauty that's in people, to care for one another, to truly love one another, to show grace and kindness to one another. Lord, it's when we share the gifts of the Spirit, when we share kindness, when we share love, when we share joy, it's when pe that's when people sit up and take notice. Help us to use those opportunities, Lord, to advance your kingdom, to sow into others' lives, to invest in others. And we pray for this year for IWM that you will um, send new donors, that you'll send new supporters and new prayer intercessors. Thank you, Lord, for growing IWM every year. Year by year, we, we get um, bigger and more productive and um, just more things going on, more uh, trips and more ways to invest and partner and pray and do all these things. And we're so very thankful, Lord. It's an exciting time in which we live. We pray, even so, come, Lord Jesus. Lord, you say that no man knows the hour, but we can pray for that day. We can pray for your coming. And we pray that we are ready. Prepare our hearts, O oh Lord. Praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord, if we aren't ready to get ready. Help us, Lord, to examine our hearts and be honest with ourselves. Help us to see others the way you see others, the way you love them. We want to be used by you, Lord God, in 2024 for your kingdom and for your glory. We praise you, Lord. We give you thanks. We honor you. This evening, we honor you in our prayers. We exalt the name of Jesus, for you alone are holy. Bless your name, O oh Lord our God. Bless your name. The name of the Lord is greatly exalted above all the earth. We will give you glory and praise. We thank you, Jesus. In your mighty name that we pray, amen. Amen. I hope you feel good. I do. I hope that um, tonight's devotional and prayer time have ministered to you. My computer is saying it wants to give an update. <laughs> so maybe it's about time to sign off. Um. I just wanted to close uh, by reminding you about um, our Facebook Live. It's every single week we have a Facebook Live that um, is on here. And I hope you'll join us next week. Um, watch with us and pray with us. Uh, we also have a blog that comes out. It's a written blog that um, is distributed and it's um, I think it gets posted on Facebook with a link to be able to read the blog, but you'll also get it if you're part of our newsletter. So if you um, didn't see it already on Facebook, there's um, a link. If you scroll down a couple of posts um, before this one from this evening, um, you'll see a link to join with your email to join our newsletter and you'll get our newsletter um, that comes out periodically. I think it's every month, but um, at least that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> um, it was through the newsletter that Autumn Nims wrote back in 2017 that I found IWM. So um, 
If you want to, um, if you get that newsletter on an email and you want to share it with others, please do. And uh, we'd be um, happy to have you partner with us in that way. Um, keep praying for us, for IWM and all that's happening in 2024. Keep watching, um, of course, on Facebook, but keep watching um, for things that are happening in the world and around us. And um, keep alert and watch and pray. Good night to all of you and God bless you.